So many of you might be familiar with VLOOKUP or you might have seen my podcast on VLOOKUP before. If you haven't, go and take a look at it. This is for HLOOKUP, where the data is horizontal, going across like this in columns like that. So you might, the, here is my data. There's one column. There's another column. So VLOOKUP is when it's all in rows. And you might have your data all in rows because you have a lot more rows than you do have columns. So that might be one reason for dictating why you're using an HLOOKUP or a VLOOKUP. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Basically, I've got some stuff here. They're all fictitious, except for me. And what I want to be able to do is type in the staff ID up here. So I'm going to type in, say, 456, and I want it to fill in the rest. Now, there is another one that I'm creating as well, where you're going to combine HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP together. So take a look at that on another podcast coming very soon may already be there, depending on when you watch this. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here in the first name. I'm going to go to Insert Function. And I'm already in this category Lookup and Function, which is over here. So it might also be in my most recently used. And you can scroll down to find it here. You do know you can also search for them by just look, typing it in up here, pressing Enter. There's H Lookup. And I'm just going to click on that OK. So the lookup value is this value here. It's going to look here. It's going to check against this table. And it's going to determine which row it's going to pick up by the row index number. So you've got the lookup value here. All those in bold have to be filled in. So the lookup value, I am going to click there. It's B1. B1 is going to come down and look in this table over here. OK, now because in this, for the first one, I was only going to pick up this row here, I could have just highlighted this section. But for the sake of it, I'm just going to highlight the whole lot. Which row do I want? Well, it's row number two. That's row number one, two, three, four in the area that you've selected, which is the table. So I'm going to type in number two. And you can see it's immediately come up here, showing the results of Steve, and it shows it over there as well. Now, the range lookup is what you want to do if you want to tell it whether everything is in order or if it might just be a bit random. So these numbers are not in order. So I need to put something in here. If I leave it blank, it's going to go to the closest match. Well, if you've got staff IDs and you put in 457 and there isn't one, you don't want it to go to 456. It's got to be exact. So to find an exact match, you type in false. Doesn't matter if it's upper or lower case. If you leave it blank, it's the same as typing in true, which means if you have a look at my VLOOKUP one, you'll see that actually it can find, say, a range. So if you've got 0 to 100 and you type in, say, 95, it'll go and choose the nearest one. Actually, what it does is it drops down to the lowest one before that. That's for another podcast. Go ahead and have a look at that other one. So, and there's a link. If you're looking on YouTube, you'll see this linked here. I've got it in the description. If not, you can just go to my website, jargonfreehelp.com, look in Excel, and you'll find the VLOOKUP ones in the Excel section. Um, so if I just click on OK now, you'll see it's popped Steve in. If I was to change that to 534, you'll see it picks up Jenny. If I put in 535, it comes up with nothing, because it's got to match it exactly. OK. So let's just do that again, 534. Now let's do the same again for the last name. Same again. If you were to copy it down, it doesn't quite do the trick on this one, which you might have seen in some others. So I'm going to just do insert function again. I mean, my most recently used is HLOOKUP. I can just double click on it. Once again, the lookup value is that value there. The table array is this one here. The row index number, it's the third one in this table. And again, I need to type in false. Actually, what I'll do, I'm going to leave it blank, same as typing in true. Click on OK, so that if I do 535, you'll see it's actually picking up the last name, because it's picking up the next closest one. OK, let's go and fix that. So if I click on it, click on my insert function, it takes me to back into my little dialog box here. Click on OK, and you see it's got to be right on the mark. So this is using the HLOOKUP very nicely. There we go. Going to do that again. 
this time I'm just picking up another row here. So again, the lookup value is that one. Table array is that one. Row index, this time it's row four. And again, I'm just going to type in false. So that is a quick look. I'm just going to put myself in there now. You can see it just instantly changes. That's a quick look at using HLOOKUP in Excel. This works on all versions of Excel. You get to HLOOKUP the same way in all of them by clicking on that insert function there. Depending on which version you've got, this is 2010. This will be the same for 2007 and 2013. You can get your, to your functions over here as well just by clicking on these big buttons here. And again, I could just choose HLOOKUP from that list.